Hey guys, today we're going to do the demonstration for a powdered vial, and this is vancomycin. You should have this in your lab kit. So today you're going to remove your vancomycin, you're going to remove your IV bag, the 50 ml sodium chloride, and I realize it will be attached to some tubing, that's okay. Uh, you should have a syringe. I'm using a larger syringe today, but if you need to simulate with a smaller syringe, that's okay. And um, I have a needle here, but of course, if you don't have a needle, you shouldn't have a needle, then you will just simulate this video. And some alcohol prep pads, okay? So today what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the diluent from the base solution instead of having a separate diluent vial. Once I read the vancomycin, it tells me to reconstitute with 20 ml of sterile water. So the diluent of choice that I'm gonna to use today is 20 ml of sodium chloride. I have verified this with my pharmacist and it is okay to use a different diluent. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is swap the additive ports. Use the opposite side for each port. And lay an alcohol swab down. Then you're going to go ahead and assemble your syringe, which of course you may have a smaller one in your kit, with the needle. And this is the part where you guys can simulate. So today, because I'm removing this not from a vial, but from an IV bag, I do not have to draw an equal or less amount of air, right? There's already air in this bag. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I need to withdraw 20 cc's of sodium chloride. Remember I told you guys, the larger the syringe, the more difficult it is to remove. So if you guys don't have an IV pole, that's okay. So I don't know if you could tell how much harder this is versus if I was doing this out of a 10 cc syringe. So it is taking a bit longer to get the diluent out. Okay, so before I um, remove the needle out of the IV bag, I'm gonna go ahead and tap. I want the large bubbles to be removed. making sure I'm still at 20. All right, go ahead and remove. You've already swabbed the additive port, the rubber diaphragm here. And then you're just gonna reverse melt this. So you wanna push down and let go. You see, it's trying to breathe, it's trying to equalize pressure here. Okay, so the only thing I'm doing now is I'm allowing the plunger to come back up and I can actually even nudge it myself. It was near 20, so I'm going to nudge it to about that and then I'm just going to remove pulling straight back out 
I'm going to go ahead and recap and I'm going to allow this file to reconstitute. So the ways that you can help it reconstitute is by swirling it. Don't shake anything vigorously. You can roll it in between the palms of your hands. You could sit it down and just allow it to reconstitute on its own. And then some technicians will lay it on its side. They feel that it reconstitutes faster that way. So those are all of the methods you can use to assist with the reconstitution. Remember, every drug reconstitutes at a different rate. So you'll get to learn your drugs and how long it might take your drug to reconstitute. Some will reconstitute immediately within 10 or 20 seconds. Others may take five and 10 minutes to reconstitute. Once we're ready to remove the drug, I have to swab the rubber diaphragm again. And because it's going back into this IV bag, because this is where I pull the diluent from, I'm going to re-swab this. Okay, now that I have swabbed the vial and I've also swabbed the IV bag, I'm going to take my syringe and I'm going to make sure that because I need to remove 20 mLs, which is the full gram of vancomycin, remember in a pharmacy when you have a powdered vial and you need the entire contents of that vial, you can also use a transfer needle. And this is what we were talking about in our uh, CSTD assessment for EquiShield is the transfer needle is used if you're using the entire contents of this drug and the diluent would come out of this bag. It's a double-ended needle, okay? But since we do not have that, we're gonna, take, we're gonna remove it using the syringe that you guys have in your kit. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in. Slight lateral pressure. Push down a little bit and you're gonna flip and remember this vial is a little bit um, bigger than what we're used to and in this case in my demonstration my syringe is also bigger so just take your time and go ahead and milk So remember in this case I need a full gram of vancomycin so it doesn't matter if it's at 20 mLs or 21 mLs the goal here is to empty out this vial because I need all of this powder that's in here so I'm not really measuring or anything like that I'm emptying out the vial so if you see there okay so you don't want to leave the vial like that you do want to tap and kind of remove some bubbles to make sure that you have at least how much you're desiring Put this back down and remove, cap this, and now go ahead and tap the remaining air bubbles out. Pull down to remove excess liquid from the hub and go ahead and push up. And again, in this case, I'm not really concentrated on having it exactly at 20 cc's. Um, the reason being is that the reason being is that I'm needing the full gram, okay? Okay, once I've removed all of the air bubbles and the air, I am ready to shoot this back into my bag. Go ahead and remove. Uh, you're not going to recap. You're going to invert. Put an IVA seal. Put your label on. Inspect this for particulate matter, turbidness, sediment, particulates, and then your IV bag is ready to go. This completes the demonstration for the vancomycin powdered vial.